Let's take a look at how you'd plot a function of two variables in Maple. So continuing with the example we started in the previous podcast, let's plot the function f of xy equals sine of 2x cosine of 2y. Now since we're going to do some plotting stuff, the first thing is of course to get all the plotting commands needed for calc 3. So there's with plots. And as a reminder, let me show you what the contour plot was that we had last time. The contour plot of the sine of 2 times x times the cosine of y over, say, the interval from minus 5 to 5, and the y value is going from minus 5 to 5. Looks something like this. And again, just as a, a quick plot right here, we got a graph who looks something like this. So there were high points. The higher points happened to be alternating, and then there were lower points who were alternating. So that would give me the impression that the graph should have hills anytime I see something in yellow, and valleys anytime I see something in red. But how do I make a plot of this? Well, there's actually two ways to make a plot of a function of two variables. The easiest way, possibly, is to remember that the plot of a function of two variables is simply the graph of this equation. If you plot z of f of xy, that's what a graph is, the set of all points whose z value is the function value. Since an equation of two variables, or an equation of three variables is simply a surface, we can use the implicit plot 3D command to plot this. So we would just go and use implicit plot 3D. Write the equation we want to plot. Z equals my function, sine of 2x times the cosine of y. And then give it an interval to plot this over. So x a going from minus 5 to 5, y going from minus 5 to 5, and the z value is going from minus 5 to 5. So my initial plot looks like that, and I can kind of see the basic flavor. I see rises and falls and things like that. Doing what we did before here, we could go and increase the grid size. So there's the grid size increased, and I can also start putting in the axes so I can get a better sense of what it looks like. And so that's what this plot looks like. And so I actually can see very much that sort of bumping up and down egg carton shape to it. In fact, it doesn't look like I really use too much of the z-axis at all, so maybe another quick plot is I could scale down the z-axis a wee bit, maybe make it go from minus 2 to 2, and that will exaggerate the features a little bit, and I can see the graph. And then I also remember I can use the style patch contour plot or command in order to actually see those level sets back again. There's those level sets, and here they are elevated. So that's one way to plot a function of two variables. It doesn't require us learning any new commands, but it's a little slow and clunky because you have to make your plot, and you have to go through refinements, zoomings and scalings, and sometimes adjusting it a little bit to make it visible. There is a second method, and the second method is specific to functions of two variables only, and it's the command plot3d. And all you have to do in plot3d is give it, well, the name of your function, sine of 2x, uh, times the cosine of y, and simply give it an x and y range to plot over. x goes from minus 5 to 5, y goes from minus 5 to 5. And what Maple does is it's going to take these x and y ranges, plug them into the function, and it's going to essentially draw polygons, triangles and rectangles floating in space, and connect them. And so here's what it gets when it draws the triangles floating in space. And just like implicit plot, its first plot will be a little bit choppier, although for uh, when you have a function of two variables, plot3d will usually give you a more accurate version a little bit more swiftly. I can go and do the usual kinds of things. I can go and type in the same grid command, say grid equals 3030, and it will smoothen out a little bit more. And I can even use the same uh, style command, style equals, maybe I'll fly spell it right, style equals patch contour and get that same graph right here. So these are just two different methods to get a hold of the same plots right here. And it's just a little bit of experimentation between the two of them to decide which one you like a little bit more or which is more useful for the situation.